then met Srila Prabhupada the following year in 69 and took Diksha from him in 1975. And amazingly, he met Srila Gurudev in 1975. So I'm very excited and honored to present to you and with a very warm welcome, uh, Prabhu. Um, lovely to see you again. Uh, Sriman Mahab Mahabudi uh, Prabhu, uh, please, your Pushpanjali, Hare Krishna, Dandavat Pranams. Hare Krishna, thank you very much. Om Aginya Timarandasya Gyananjana Salakaye Chaksudan Militam Dena Tasmai Sri Gurave Namaha Shri Chaitanya Bistam Stapitam Yena Bhutale Svayam Rupakadamayam Dadati Swapadantikam Vandeham Sri Guru Sri Yutapada Kamalam Sri Guru Vaishnavam Shad Sri Rupam Sahagajatam Sahagira Ragnatam Vitam Tam Sajivam Sadvaitam Sadvadhutam Parijana Sahitam Shri Krishna Chaitanya Devam Sri Radha Krishna Padan Sahagana Lalita Sri Vishakavitam Shad Hey Krishna Karuna Sindhu Dina Bandhu Jagatpate Gopesha Gopika Kanta Radha Kanta Namostate Tapta Kanchana Gaurangi Radhe Brindabhani Shri Vishabhani Sute Devi Pranamami Hari Priye Bancha Kapatubhyas Chakripa Sindhu Vyebhachan Paditanam Pavanevyo Vaishnavevyo Namo Namaha Sri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Sri Advaita Gedadhar Sri Vasari Gaur Bhaktavinda Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare Tesam Satita Yuktanam Bhajatam Priti Purvakam Dadami Budi Yogantam Yena Namupayam Tite let me first offer my humble dandavat pranams to the lotus feet of my spiritual master. Om Vishnupad Paramahansa Pavajak Acharya Astatara Sata Shishimad, His Divine Grace, Abhaya Charanadavinda Bhaktivedanta Swami Srila Prabhupada, and the same Pustvanjali pranams unto the lotus feet of my Shiksha Guru, Srila Bhaktivedanta Narango Swami Maharaj, Om Pabista. Om Niti Lila, Pradeshtam Vishnapad, Paramahansa, Pavajaka Acharya, Astatara Sata Shishimad, Bhakti Vedanta Narayan Goswami Maharaj. Offer my respect for Dandavat Pranams and the Param Guru, Srila Bhakti Sananta Saraswati Thakur. Prabhupada, I offer my respectful obeisances into all of our Guru Varga, all the way up through to Lord Brahma and our Gaudiya Sampradaya, as is the nature of offering on a, a Pushpanjali to our Guru Varga. I offer my respect specifically onto Sri Bhupa Manjari and Sri Rati Manjari, to Lalita and Vishaka, and onto Sri Mati Radhika, who very much thankful to her for sending down her, her uh, Manjaris into this planet to assist us. So thank you very much uh, for this opportunity to say something. Everyone is giving thank yous to the, the wonderful team that put this together, but I'm going to do one step further. We certainly have thankfulness, but I am praying to Srila Gurudev that he bless those Yasodananda and his team for putting this together because I, I think he would be very, very pleased with this and sending this message of hope throughout this world, which is permeated currently with atheism and uh, demonic tendencies. So we very much pray to Srila Gurudev that thank, give his blessings to these devotees that have organized this wonderful event. So many heartfelt devotees of Srila Gurudev, both Shiksha and Diksha and friends have spoken. Srila Gurudev, for anyone who, I also apologize first before I start because sometimes I speak very, very fast. And I know everyone listening to these Audience is, you know, everyone speaks very slow, but now the Chatriyas have get a chance to speak after all the Brahmanas have already spoken. So when they're, you know, 
<clears throat> I'm just as comfortable having a gun in my hand as I am with the Srimad Bhagavatam. So now we're down to those, you know, levels of, you know, the varnas where we can speak and also glorify at the very end of the conference. Srila Gurudev is, you know, in our very heart to all of my God brothers who didn't have the opportunity or didn't take the opportunity for taking Shiksha from Srila Gurudev, I feel very sad for her because the relationship with Srila Gurudev on a personal level, one-to-one, -one, is so tasteful. After 30 years of serving Prabhupada's mission, and Prabhupada is our Diksha Guru. So when Srila Prabhupada, you would just, yes, sir, no, sir, do it, and it would be, that's, it's the commanding and the guru-disciple relationship. With Srila Gurudev, it was so tasteful. He was like, he was like our uncle. He was our friend. He was our coach. He, it, it, I can't even imagine right now, you know, someone like Premananda or someone like, like Madhav Maharaj, even, even Brajanath, any of those had so much association with Gurudev because I feel so that personal relationship that have it, that I, I, I miss so, so much his person just being here. What to speak of, what to speak of all the wonderful devotees that we've heard so far. So we first should glorify something of Gurudev. His, his mission, as he told me, was to preserve that these literatures, these teachings of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and literatures of the Goswamis are preserved for time and not get lost over time. So he took this mission very seriously. And these books that were mostly in Bengali, as we heard from Damodar Maharaj earlier, mostly in Bengali, were not even in Hindi. He, now they have come over to Hindi. And from Hindi, now they're in English. Where would we ever, ever get a chance to read such wonderful literatures and put in? I remember as a, as a, as a devotee of Srila Prabhupada, I was thinking these, these literatures that we're hearing in Chaitanya Tiritamata, they were, they were so they were so rich in that, but how are we ever supposed to read this? Prophet said, we have to read these letters. I'm thinking, where? Where will we get these things? So Gurudev, he so mercifully, not every, all the devotees have told us, he said of this Radhadasyam, but how much is incalculated? We're now getting the chance to, to associate with Vishwanath Chakravarti, Bhakti Vinod Thakur, Rupanurati Manjari, Bibhamangal Thakur, all, all the way back, all the different writings that were given, Rasa Panchadai, Manasa Shiksha, all the whole uh, Venu Geet and Gopi Geet and all these different literatures, including Bhajan Rahasya and the works of Vishnu Chakravarti. These are jewels beyond our comprehension. People have spoken about it, but they're meant for us to read them and bide them. So now, you know, this has becomes even controversial sometimes. Well, these are very advanced, very advanced works. So what? Guru Days is given, he's opened the door, just like with Prabhupada, you have to have the key to open his book. So and by associating with Guru Dev, we now even reading Prabhupada's books, we have another vision. So Guru Dev is given, he's opened this opportunity for us, which is unfathomable for, you know, for devotees like myself. I remember in, 19, in 1999, at Gurudev's Vyas Puj in Alachua, I was standing 500 people back and I was thinking, how can a person like us ever you know, obtain these, you know, this, this perfection, this Radhadasyam, this Prema? We're not born. I mean, we're only seeing the examples of Rupa, Rupa Goswami, Rati, Manja, Rati Goswami, and the six Goswamis and all of our Guru Acharyas. We have no good qualities. We have no, no good qualities. We weren't born with sanskars. We, weren't bo we were born in the West without, any, without knowing even who Krishna was. So by Gurudev's mercy, that whatever some scars and Prabhupada's mercy, whatever some scars, whatever good fortune, Prabhupada said to us, I have created your good fortune. And so did Gurudev. As we understand, after listening to so many devotees speak with their heartfelt speeches during this, during this festival, that it reminded me very seriously of the verse in the Mahabhagavata, in the Mahabharata, where Yudhisthira said, one lava, which means one sixteenth second of association with a pure devotee is enough to change your whole life. And so someone speaking here, 
They said, just a glance, just a touch, just, just Gurudev just said a kind word. And even just the slightest association with Gurudev was so much wonderful. So I have some things to say. I don't want to go, I, there are some teachings that I think probably uh, since we're recording them and uh, might as well get them out. I, when we, that, we met Srila Prabhupada, I mean, Srila Gurudev, as uh, Yasodananda said, way back in 1975 and 76, where um, Prabhupada had me remove all of his disciples from Prabhupada's room. And in his room, there was uh, Bhakti Bhai Baba Puri uh, and uh, Srila Gurudev, and also Krishnadas Das Babaji, and he had them all clear out. And then they would all speak and they were all laughing and they were having so much wonderful kata. And then he asked me to pull this book off to the shelf, which was all of the reviews that myself and Bhakti Tirtha had, had, had received from the library party. And he had me read this to all, the, all of his god brothers in there. And at that particular time is when he introduced us and they were all going to Prabhupada Sadhu Sadhu. So if anyone had seen such a wonderful relationship between Prabhupada and his Gaudiya God brothers, they would not then have said all the things that happened in the early parts. Oh, he's against his God because he had such sweet relationship. So Gurudev, I met him again in 1984 because he solved the issue. Um, they, at that time, I was running Prabhupada's palace. He solved the issue uh, with a crown on Prabhupada's head. I didn't like it. Kirtananda Swami didn't. It wouldn't take it off. He so he finally sent Radhanath and myself, Radhaswami and myself to India and, and to see Gurudev. And Gurudev said that the sentiment is nice, but Prabhupada is so high. And putting a crown on his head actually demeans him. He's much higher than a king, so much higher than a sannyasi even. So in that regard, Gurudev saw, solved so much of the issues that were permeating at that time, uh, controversially with Prabhupada wearing a crown. And that was solved by Srila Gurudev. So it wasn't until 1999 again that that he came to uh, the came to Florida, and there I was getting so many phone calls from Ishan Kripa Ramsa the, that you know Shri Raj wants to see you. Uh, then I was managing University of Miami's hospital, so his program he had wasn't for by. So I went, and he only spoke a little at that time. And then Prem Prayojan and Prabhu was speak spoke about an hour, but very very wonderful. Never heard a Western devotee speak in that eloquence before, but they invited me the next day. And so the next day I went to see Srila Gurudev at, I think it was Creeper Ram's house. And at that point in time, the first thing he did, he brought me and Isha together and he said, and I know this is controversial for some people, but I'm gonna say it. So that's because it's Gurudev said it. And that he said, your prophet was poisoned by his disciples. The problem, the, the issue was your Gurudev, he did not have to leave. He was not under anyone's control, he was under Krishna, he can leave whenever he wanted. But he said that he was, they were, he, they were poisoned by disciples. And he said he was, they tried to poison him in Los Angeles and he refused to take the food. So that was a kind of an interesting format. But later on, I, I, I started corresponding with letters, but I was feeling, I didn't, who knows what a Shiksha Guru was? I, we, we had so much time in ISKCON, they still don't really understand so much. So I didn't know because our prophet was everything. So I was praying to Prabhupada, you know, what, you know, give me some guidance, please give me some guidance. So in 1999, there was a festival at, at Jalakar's house in Alachua. And there I remember Gurudev was sitting on the bed in Jalakar's room and he was preaching to Bhagavat's son, Nishinga now at that, you know, and he was talking to him about me, me, you know, giving that assistance. So as I, he made me sit next to him. Of course, I didn't want to, I put up an argument, but he forced me to sit next to him. And about, you know, five minutes into his, his discussion with Bhagavat and Bhagavat's son, Bhagavat Maharaj, and but at that not that time, but it then. And I started having palpitations. My heart was pounding, my sweat profusing, my hairs are standing on. I, you know, I came with my son and my brother, and I thought I was having a heart attack. So when I, I came out of there, they said, We're gonna go to the hospital. I go, the problem is I don't pain anywhere. I had no pain. So my wife had given me a book of beyond, beyond, going beyond Vaikuntan. And that night I read and I read different symptoms of association with a pure devotee. And I was reading the symptoms I, I, I had at that point. But still being the skeptic, I was going praying to Prabhupada, what should I do? Should I, because I don't want to offend him. And so that next morning, much this was also explained by Bhumipati and his, 
his glorification. I had a vision of Srila Prabhupada sitting next to um, Srila Gurudev. And it was the same vision that, that I saw in, uh, in when I was Prabhupada's guard for five years his, and ran all of his darshans. Prabhupada would sit in a certain way and he was sitting in that same way. And I was double taking and looking. Gurudev always had me sit next close to him, you know, when he would speak and usually in a chair because I knew whatever. And so I waited till he came out and I asked him, you know, I'm not a Sahaja, but I saw Prabhupada and, you know, then he looked at me with his blue eyes right through me. And then he just, he, he nodded his head and, and then grabbed the shoulder of myself and Puru when we walked him back to the room. So from that time, I accepted Prabhupada, accepted Srila Gurudev as my six guru. And then he came later, he came and he put his hand on my chest and he said, your guru Dave has sent me to help you. And then he, and he put his hand on my chest and said, Tesam Satati Yuktanam, Bajatam Priti Purvakam, Dadami Buddhi Yogam Tam, Yena Mamupayantite. And this was the mantra that Srila Prabhupada gave me in 1976 to chant every day. And he made me promise him that I will chant that mantra every day, which I have for the last 40 something years. And Srila Gurudev put his hand on my chest immediately. I didn't tell him that, but he immediately understood um, that mission. And that was the clue that I should accept Srila Gurudev. Now, um, later that point, um, from there, I had a preaching program, which, which was going on. So from 2000 to about 2000, um, uh, 2010, um, we helped introduce over 150 of Srila Gurudev's disciples from South Florida. We, made, we had, I won't say I made them Gurudev, we had 150 disciples from, from our preaching center. We didn't even have a temple. We just had a preaching center at our home. So that's what was a wonderful thing. Um, the uh, opportunities that came from them also um, in, um, we had some correspondence and letters and then um, Isha had, give, had, had given us some tapes and we made a vow. We listened to all of Srila Gurudev's tapes. At, we had a vow in 1996 to listen to all of Srila Prabhupada's tapes. It took us over a year to do it. And this, and right after that, we, we got every tape from Isha Prabhu that Srila Gurudev had done at that time. And we spent the rest of the year listening every, every day, maybe two or three different tapes of Srila Gurudev until, we, until many is that we could have gone through as we could. So in 19, 20, 2003, excuse me, we put on our first Guru Day Festival. And on our first Guru Day Festival, we went on a walk. And in that one of the walks that we had in Coral Springs, Guru Day chastised me for my sandals making noise. And then, then we were in the back um, with Jalakar and, and, and Padmanabha Maharaj at that time. And we were talking about issues that were happening in the society. And Gurudev chastised us. You know, he said, I am here walking. He was about 15 yards in front of us. He, he walked very fast on a walk. And I am here. You should, when you're with me, you should understand, you know, you should chant, you know, so you can enter with us into the point. And then he started talking about what, you know, that what that particular point in time was, what Krishna was doing as part of his Astakalavila. And he started explaining that to all of us. So we felt really bad because we were not chanting, we were spending more of our time talking about issues than we were about chanting and understanding when we're with Srila Prabhupada, with Srila Gurudev, we should be very attentive to our, to our chanting and the enter it. We had another experience in Hawaii, this, you know, about Gurudev was in Samadhi Bas. We were in, in a, we were in the um, garden in Hawaii and, and um, uh, this was in, this was on the, on the big island. And there was a garden back there. And I was in the back of the garden with Srila Gurudev. And he was like picking weeds, which I thought was kind of strange. And then as a, then a completely unknown to me, Srila Gurudev said, um, he said, come. He said, Shimati Radhi, Radhika, she wants this garland. We have to pick flowers. Come, let's go pick. And then so I completely was not in any of that pastime. But Srila Gurudev treated us like a, you know, like a parakar, like, you know, you know, an equal in that platform. He was allowing us to see, you know, at that point in time, he was, even though he was picking weeds and he, externally, internally, he was picking flowers for, for uh, Radharani's garland to offer. 
and he would bring us in that platform. Similarly, he did it for all the devotees in 2001 in San Diego. Oh, man, I've got so much stuff like and only one minute left. Okay, so I won't even give all the, there's probably another 50 different points in here that I'll probably have to give sometime, uh, you know, in, in the future. But I just want to say to this, because I, I really didn't get a point to uh, get where I really wanted to go, because there's a lot of different, a lot of different um, leelas and explanations. But I think one of the things for me, the most important thing for me is how, you know, he took such a, 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 a fiery, um, you know, devotee with not any humility. And, you know, he told me that, you know, a, a grihasta who follows Trinata P. Sunuchena, Torah P. Suhisnana, Amina Manadina, Kirtinia Sadahi is even better than a sannyasi who's full of pratista. So then he told me that I should read the, um, he should read the works of the Goswamis. And I kept telling him I wasn't very advanced. I didn't have any sun scars. I, you know, I'm not, you know, I won't go into all that, all that stuff. But I was saying that. And he goes, no matter, you have to do it. And he said, well, I kept saying, well, I don't, I don't know. And he, then he told me, he said, that Rupa Goswami will personally teach you. And after that, I had nothing to say. I couldn't say anything back after that. So I want to offer my most humble, respectful, and heartfelt uh, offering to Srila Gurudev who pulled us out from being in the Shinga Bhakta. And um, not that that's bad, but you know, he told me not to kill any more people. Um, and give us this Radha Dasyam. And, um, and instill in our heart the desire to really read and appreciate and, and, and ask for his guidance in our, in our heart because guru is everything. Without Srila Prabhupada and without Srila Gurudev, we have no ability to get rid of our narthas, no ability for anyone to introduce us to Srimati Radhi, no ability to do any devotional service. Everything depends on our guru and Easton, our development with our relationship with him. So I want to thank everyone. I apologize for uh, being so scattery and not, uh, not being able to give so many different more things I have to say. But I do appreciate this opportunity and thank you very much. Mancha Kalpa Tibias Cha, Kripa Sindhu Vieva Cha, Patitanam Pavane Bio Vaishnavi Bhagavan Maha, Hare Krishna. Dear, dear Mahabudi, thank you so much. By the way, you said um, you said something about if you get a glance from a pure devotee for a sixteenth of a second, then what was the consequence? What was the result? Well, in the Mahabharata, Yudhisthira was being preaching to what's what's the most rarest thing in this world, and the most rarest thing in this world is one lava, one sixteenth uh -huh. second of association, and right. in that association, with it, your whole life can change instantaneously. Too. Just like you know, pinball, you hit this and bounce, you're going off another direction. So I checked that out, and that's half a blink of an eye, because a blink is 150 milliseconds, and uh, a lava is 62 and a half milliseconds. So it's half of a blink of an eye. So if you think of how I'll, many... I'll take your word for it. <laughs> yeah. So if you think of how many half blinks we have gotten, wow. How many half blinks did you get from Prabhupada? How many half blinks did you get from Gurudev? How many half blinks have we all had? Woo! Extraordinary. 